I'm Susan Miller, and I'm Golden Quest's Puppy Placement Specialist. If you've never heard that title before, that's okay, because I made it up. That means that I am your puppy matchmaker, and I will help you and or your family find the perfect match for your lifestyle. How do you get one of our gorgeous puppies? Step one, you need to fill out our puppy matchmaker questionnaire. Step two, wait to hear back from me. Step three, if we agree that we're a good fit for each other, I'll encourage you to make a deposit to get on our wait list. Once you're on the wait list, you'll start to receive litter announcements from me via email. Whenever we have a new litter to introduce, you will get the parent information and photos. You'll also see how many puppies and what genders there are in that particular litter. There will be a deadline for you to respond, and after that deadline passes, I'll assign pick positions based on your deposit date. A pick position is just the order in which you choose your puppy when the time comes. Kind of like the NFL draft for any football fans out there. If you have the first male pick position, that means when the time comes to select your puppy, you will have first dibs over all the males in that litter. If you have the first female pick position, same thing. We do assign pick positions based on gender. And if you don't have any strong gender preference, that just gives you more options. Once you have a pick position on a litter, you'll receive almost weekly updates, whether that's a written update or a video, showing you how the puppies are growing and developing. You will have total access to me. You can email or call me anytime, and we can discuss the puppies as well. When the puppies are about seven weeks old, you will start the puppy selection process. If you have the first pick position on either the male or female, you will have approximately 24 hours to choose your specific puppy. The second pick position will have about 12 hours and the time is reduced as you go further down the list. I have some questions. You referred to a puppy questionnaire. How do I get the puppy questionnaire? That's a great question. In order to get the questionnaire, you need to call or email us and we will send you the link to complete the form. My next question is, what do the letters associated with the litters mean? When you look at our litter page, you'll see two letters in front of each litter. Some of the current litter letters are PN, PM, and PO. Those letters are just the identification for that particular litter. When Kathy Burgess, the owner and founder of Golden Quest, first started breeding, the first litter letter was AA, the second was AB, the third AC, and so on. Whenever she got to AZ, she started all over again with BA. So the current litter letters just show you how far into the breeding process Golden Quest is. How will I know what size my puppy will be as an adult? That's one of our most common questions. In order to get the adult size of your puppy, we average the parents' weights together. So if the mom is 30 pounds and the dad is 40 pounds, we would say that your puppy is estimated to be approximately 35 pounds once grown. Now this is just our best guess. Sometimes the puppies take more after dad or they might take more after mom. And occasionally there's a grandparent that might throw something uh, unexpected into the mix. That is rare, but since it's genetics, it can happen. Another question I have is, how will I know what my puppy will look like when it's fully grown? That's another common question. This puppy is about three weeks old, and just like with a human baby, it's hard to predict what they're going to look like as adults. The best indication we have of what a puppy will look like when they're full grown is the mom and dad's appearance. So if you like the appearance of the parents, chances are you're going to like the appearance of the puppy. I have one more question, but it's actually more of a preference. What if I want a dog that's low shed or no shed? I'm glad you brought that up. Our comfort retrievers have a reduced shed compared to a golden retriever. If you spent any time around goldens, you know that they are heavy shedders. So our comforts have been genetically bred to have lower shed than a golden. Now, some of our shed levels within the comfort retriever breed vary because it's individualized based on the puppy or dog. So while the majority of the breed is going to have low shed, um, sometimes they can have more moderate shed like a golden. 
There are ones that have very little shed at all and might be classified as non-shedding. However, there is no such thing as a non-shedding dog. Every dog, no matter what breed, is going to shed at some point in its life. There are four main reasons that you will see a comfort retriever shed more than normal. One is when they lose their puppy coat. Uh, puppies lose their puppy coat when they are between six and nine months and they get their adult coat. So you will see a heavy amount of shed during that time. Comforts also shed during changing seasons, typically from late summer into fall and then from late winter into spring. Comforts also will shed if it's extremely hot and they will shed if they are anxious slash nervous or if they're sick. So those are just some of the many factors that have to be considered when talking about your dog shed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We average the parents' weights together. And I just threw my eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> I just blew my eyeball. <laughs> That's one of my. <laughs> uh, action. I have one more thing. No. <laughs> First question is <laughs> I'm trying to compose myself. <laughs>